Welcome to DC Today. It is Tuesday, February the 13th, and I'm uh, coming to you here from our Newport Beach office studio this week. I'll be here all week and uh, had a bit of a down day, really, in markets. Uh, we ended up coming off of the lows, right in the, into the close, but we closed down 524 points on the Dow. Um, the uh, 10 year was up uh, 15, 14, 15 basis points, closed at 432. So rise in yields across the curve um, and, and a sell-off in stocks. And the reason was that CPI numbers came out today. Um, according to the news, they were just far hotter than normal and big spike in yields and this sort of Armageddon kind of scenario with what the number was, which was an entire one-tenth of a percent um, higher than expected. So we got core, um, I'm sorry, headline come in at 0.3 versus 0.2 expected, which year over year, uh, was 3.1 versus 2.9. Okay. So, so a 10th higher Then we had, um, poor, which strips out food and energy, of course, also come in a 10th higher. It was at 0.4 for the month of January versus a 0.3. Um, year over year, we're at 3.9 versus what was expected at 3.7. So, so yeah, but tough day in markets, um, sell off. I think there was a lot of people positioned, uh, for inflation to come down and, and, you know, s secretly hoping for, um, for a number to come down. And all I'll say is that we're making big progress with inflation. It, it is moving lower. We have disinflation. Okay. So, so the rate of inflation is going lower and that's a good thing. Uh, but it was never going to be in a straight line, uh, you know, for po people that thought every month would go down linearly. That's just not how markets work. Um, so we had a disappointment today in markets. Uh, I'm not overly concerned about it. You, you came into this with the volatility index in the low 13s of VIX, which is very low. So kind of complacent. And then you had now 14 weeks of 15 uh, be up weeks, which, uh, and it's there we're up, you know, since October of last year, we're up something like 20% or so. So it's, it's been a decent move on this thing. And so to have some give back, um, doesn't shock me at all. Um, I, I think it was a little overdone on the day and maybe that was the, the kind of give back or the, uh, uh, close off of the lows into the, into the close. Um, maybe the markets realize that. But uh, 14 to 15 up weeks, that's, you know, only happened probably 15 times, forgive me, five times since 1928 in market. So it isn't very common. And that's a long streak. The last time that that happened was 52 years ago. So just keep in mind the starting point of over 5,000 on the S&P, disappointing news. Here's your sell off. There you go. The um, S&P was down 1.3%, uh, 1.37. NASDAQ was down one8 um, every sector was negative on the, on the day, uh, energy was the only little bright spot, not the sector, the, the stock sector, but the price of oil was up a little bit with some of the hotter inflation numbers, um, out there. So all in all, uh, uh, unfortunately a down day to report for you, but not something I would lose sleep over, um, in any way, shape or form. And keep in mind inside of that number, that CPI number is still for the month of January, a 0.6% increase on shelter cost. And we basically all know that uh, rents for the month of January didn't go up 0.6%. It's using an average. And if you were to put the actual Zillow six month number in there, which is about half of that, um, you'd end up in the twos, mid twos and in, in CPI. So uh, the Fed knows these things. Um, you know, I wasn't a number that they wanted to see, frankly. And so um, more of the same, which is that they weren't expecting to cut in March and that looks to still be the case. And it looks like it'll be something like May or June before they start moving rates a little lower. Um, we do have a PPI number on Friday, which will be a follow through to this inflation read. And we have some jobless claims, uh, tomorrow or on Thursday. So, uh, tomorrow's a little quiet in the economic calendar, but we get, get some more juicy data as the week goes on and, and with this stuff. Um, uh, there was an ask, Brian, a question I got actually from interest, inbound interest from uh, 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 someone actually in, in Sweden of all places, which was always kind of neat to get global, global questions. Um, it was a two part answer. The question was if rates are going to stay uh, higher, higher real rates are going to be here to stay. So something north of the risk free rate, something north of inflation. 
call it 2% above inflation, if inflation is going to be three, you know, 5% or something treasury, if that's going to be here to stay, you know, what would you want to own in that environment? And my answer was, it just depends on a lot of things. It depends on what the <laughs> what the goals are for for the investment for the for the person or institution number one but if rates were going to be um higher on the higher end then you'd want to own things that had a decent amount of carry to own you know high yield bonds uh things like private credit would be fine you know you'd be clipping double digit types of yields with the latter which i think is good and then frankly dividend growth would would likely outperform so you'd have a a better uh, environment for value stocks over growth growth stocks tend to be a longer duration deal. And so if rates were going to be high like this for a long period of time, then, then there you go. All that to say, I don't think that's a likely outcome with where we are. And I do think with the amount of global indebtedness that you'll still get this gravitational pull back towards those lower rates. Um, and ultimately, the cause for high rates will be that they're too high for too long and you end up with some sort of a credit event in markets. And then, of course, they'll, they'll collapse from there. So I hope that was somewhat helpful for some people to read. But um, all that to say, I'll be back with you on DC today, tomorrow. Um, and I wish you all a great evening. Reach out with your questions. Love to hear them. And I shall talk to you soon. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.